I first met Greg Frux uh, in Italy. He applied for a program that I was running in a town called Carrara, which is the stone capital of the world, the marble quarries, the, one of the wonders of the world. And Greg happened to be in our program. He set himself aside because he was the most mature. He was a graduate architect, and he had a, a deep interest and feeling for everything he saw and everything he would learn subsequently. Greg's work, um, it's very Hopper-esque. There's a certain analytical quality to his urban scapes. Often they're somewhat empty, almost silent views of the city. He uses Hopper's um, kind of same harsh light. They're distilled and simplified, but yet he's able to really capture the geometric form of buildings as well as the loneliness of being an urban dweller. Often he favors things like church steeples or views of brownstones or a single mason on a scaffold. Park Slope um, is one of the most beautiful places in the United States in my opinion. It's a great model for what architecture can be and for what um, a great way to live. It's, it's actually a very high density neighborhood. One of the paintings that I did, um, Brownstone Stoop, is a guy just sitting on the stoop with his cat, and he's reading his book, and the cat's hanging out. And it's just like the best of what a city can be. And to me, there's amenities here that you don't see in a lot of places, and I think it's a great model for um, what urban life can be like. You know, when you look at the paintings, and you look at Greg, they're, they're one of the same thing. They have... Uh, they're full of personality, they're uh, thoughtful, they're quiet, all at the same time. There's a, a wonderful sense of air and space around them and a wonderful sense of solidity. And uh, I think, you know, when you describe uh, the space around Greg, uh, that's one and the same. This is not intrinsically original or radical work, but I hope it's different enough that I'm getting people to see some beauty that they would have never seen before. How would you know? 